In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of hood. Especially, I will describe the bones of hood. First thing first, we have two bones here. This one is tibia, and this one is fibula. This bigger one is tibia, and this one is fibula. These bones are actually lower leg bones, but they organize ankle joint. And beneath tibia, this one is talus. Actually, talus does not have any muscle attachment. This is very rare. In human body, most of bones have muscle attachment, but talus does not. Very rare bone. And if you look from outside, beneath talus, we have calcaneus. This is heel bone. This is calcaneus, and this is talus. Let's go back to the front view. This is talus, and this is calcaneus. Let's look at bones from medial side. This is calcaneus, and this is talus. It's a little bit hard to see, but this is talus. Let's go back to front view. In front of talus, we have navicular. Remember, this is medial side of hood. Talus, navicular. And in front of calcaneus, remember, this is calcaneus. In front of calcaneus, we have cuboid here. And this is lateral side. Cuboid on the lateral side. Navicular on the medial side. In front of navicular, we have three bones here. These three bones are called cuneiform. We have three cuneiform. From medial side, this is medial cuneiform. This is intermediate cuneiform. And this is lateral cuneiform. In front of cuneiform and cuboid, we have metatarsal bones. We have five metatarsal bones. And in front of metatarsal bones, we have phalanges. These are tall bones. As you can see, we have so many bones on the foot. So each bone's alignment or tension is very important for foot mechanics and foot alignment, even the ankle movement. That's why foot bones are very, very important. Next thing I want to talk about is this beige tape. This beige tape represents a connective tissue which is retinaculum. Retinaculum covers lateral side of ankle, the front part of ankle, and medial side of ankle joint. Why is this so important? Why am I talking about retinaculum today? Because beneath retinaculum, there are so many muscles, nerves, blood vessels passing retinaculum. I will say it again. Beneath retinaculum, so many muscles, nerves, blood vessels pass here. So what if retinaculum gets tight? It can compress the muscles or tendons on the front side, medial side, and the lateral side. These muscles are very important for ankle movement or maybe toe movement or it controls the arches of the hood. So that's why tension of retinaculum is very crucial. Let's look at it carefully from lateral view. This is lateral view. Mainly, fibularis longus or fibularis brevis pass beneath here. On the front side, mainly we have extensor digitarum longus, which extends the toe. On the medial side, there is a tibialis posterior or flexor halicis longus. Uh, these muscles are mainly the plantar muscles. I just gave you an example, but there are so many other muscles passing beneath retinaculum. So now you can see how this retinaculum is very important. So in this video, I explained bones of ankle and foot. Then I explain why retinaculum is very important. So this is today's video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe.
See you in the next video.